Hi everyone, Harry here to talk about the lawsuit filed to stop Elon Musk's lottery in which he is giving away and has given away 13 times million dollar checks to people who are registered voters and sign a petition attesting to support for First and Second Amendment rights. I'll get back to the substance of that in a moment. But Elon Musk has parried this lawsuit by making a motion to move it to federal court. All right, let's uh, review the bidding a little bit. Now, recall, Musk is doing this scheme. I've written about it and we've talked about it where he is giving someone who's a registered voter and who signs this phony baloney petition saying hooray for the First and Second Amendment a million dollars every day. It is, I think, patently an effort to get people to register and those people would be more likely to be Trump voters. They either would come to the rally or would sign this petition. So they are targeting uh, people who are more likely to vote for Trump. And in this way, trying to sort of dredge up uh, people who will support Trump, but who didn't previously vote in 2016 and 2020 and are moved to register. It could be, of course, that there are already people who have registered. Musk doesn't care about that. Trump doesn't care about that. What he wants is people to know about this and register to vote and now come sign the petition so that they can get the new registrants. It is um, completely incidental, this notion of signing the petition. The petition uh, is something that you sign only if you're in the six swing states, only between now and the election. So it's really clear what's happening here. He is doing this lottery to try to induce people to register who haven't before, and those are likely to be Trump voters. And that is illegal under federal law, which says you may not pay somebody to register. The idea is that the decision to exercise the franchise has to be a voters and a voters alone, not motivated by money. And it does go back to nasty practices where people run around and they say in places still happens and hand out $20 bills or otherwise induce people to go to the polls. All right. Now, it's illegal under federal law. It seems pretty clear to me because what's going on is you're paying someone. What you're paying everyone is the chance to, and it's worth something, to get a million dollars in order to induce them to register. Nobody cares about signing the petition. And the federal government wrote a letter to Musk and his PAC saying this looks illegal, but that's all they did. They didn't publicize it, and they're the ones uh, who would administer this law saying you can't pay people to register. In that, to that vacuum steps a district attorney in Philadelphia who has jurisdiction to bring violations of state law. And Larry Krasner, a well-known and pretty controversial district attorney, one of the district attorneys who are more likely to not bring low-level cases and have been so-called progressive reform district attorneys, he jumps into the pool and says, you know what, Trump? This is a lottery, but under state law, only the state can bring a lottery. And you know what else? It's also consumer deception. And so uh, under, under state law, and by the way, it looks like you haven't paid some people, so it's also fraud. So he's bringing state law theories, and he goes to state court and says, stop uh, Musk from doing this now. So Musk, late last night, uh, we've, we've seen in other settings that people can bring uh, a state court case and try to transfer it, remove it is the legal word, to federal court. And that's basically a device that Congress has provided where a state law claim uh, really would be a matter of federal law or uh, the, the legal test 
is that the state law claim depends upon some federal question. So the idea is if it's a state law claim like Krasner has made, but it sort of necessarily depends on the resolution of a federal question, then uh, there's a right to bring it into federal court. Now, basically what um, Musk is arguing is, you know what, Krasner's really doing an election law claim. It's about the election, and it's just dressed up as a state law claim of a bad lottery or consumer deception, and that makes this really a federal law claim, and that means Musk says, I have the right to bring it in federal court. And when you petition to remove something to federal court, it right away goes to federal court, and then the federal court decides if it's properly there, and if not, remands it to state court. So that takes time, and we've only got till Tuesday, and this is the feature of election law I've talked about and lamented about repeatedly. Shit happens, and it's too late to do anything about it, given the compressed timeline of an election. So Musk is bringing this removal claim. I'll get to it in a moment, but basically it is, among other things, a play for time. And if it doesn't get resolved, even if it turns out he has no right to be in federal court before Tuesday, the uh, it's too late to do anything about it. He will have paid out his additional million-dollar checks and that's the way um, it goes. Now, what's he saying to, in order to remove? He's saying basically that, well, the law says it's got to depend on a federal claim. And uh, the argument by Musk, as I've said, is is preemption, but that doesn't count, or it's somehow really an election law claim. But that's that argument is not the same as saying it real. He is not identified clearly for the federal court what federal claim this depends on, and therefore um, it's a pretty weak removal claim. It seems to me, though, well, uh, removal can be really tricky and can be a matter of subjective analysis by a federal court. But the basic point here is. The whole the whole scheme, it seems to me, has been a sort of cynical attempt to get around the federal law and to do it just uh, clever enough, maybe too clever by half, to keep it from being enjoined before the election. Krasner or indeed the federal government could still charge him, even with a crime, the federal government after. But I just don't see that happening. And it seems to me that this is uh, a billionaire pulling the levers of the legal system in a way that he can continue what is not a legal scheme and was designed in the all important state of Pennsylvania to get some new registrations and votes for. Donald Trump. Okay, so no action by the feds who are the ones who really should take it. Instead, a DA comes in and Musk responds with saying this should really be in federal court. In a, in a larger sense, thematically, you can see it. It really does feel like an election law thing being dressed up as a state law lottery claim. But in the particulars of what you have to show to get into federal court, I don't think Musk makes that showing. But it doesn't matter if the um, effort to make it or not, the resolution by a federal court as to whether it's been made takes until Election Day, then everything's uh, too late to unscramble the eggs, as it were. So that's where things stand. And as I wrote in the in an op-ed that will attach here, it strikes me that even though illegal, He's probably going to get away with it, and it's probably going to result in more votes for Donald Trump than he otherwise would have had in the all-important state of Pennsylvania. Talk to you later. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video and other Talking Feds content, please take a second to like and subscribe. Talk to you later.